What's up, everybody? Jeremy Gerard from Four Horsemen Studios here with a little bit of a different kind of tutorial video today. Today, we're actually going to be talking about the Cosmic Legion's Aeus Cypidian figure. So if you follow us on social media, you probably saw that we recently posted uh, an image of some instructions about this figure from the Cosmic Legion's uh, Valkatar Book 2 Grave Night Wave, specifically a little bit of a caution about posing this figure. So I'll bring up here, this is the instructions that we posted. These are also coming with the IS figures. So I figured it's always easier to show people how to do something. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you exactly what you should do with your IS Cypidian figure to minimize the chance of breakage. And then I'll talk a little bit about, you know, exactly what happened and, you know, what the whole situation is. So first things first, this IS Cypidian is a brand new figure. I just opened him from a case. So what you're going to want to do here, and this is what the instructions say, is if you take the figure, the first thing you need to do is separate the upper half from the lower half. Now, where the problem on this figure is, is actually the ball joint between the lower torso and the upper torso. That kind of diaphragm area is where the problem is. That's not where you're separating it. Where you're separating it is the upper torso from the legs. So if you hold the upper torso and you hold the legs and you just pull apart, it comes right apart, no problem. That's step number one. Now I'm gonna put the legs aside and I'm gonna take this part here, the upper torso, and I already heated up a mug of hot water. So I've got my mug of hot water here. I heated this for two minutes. It's nice and hot. It's a, obviously a microwave safe mug, so I don't have to worry about you know that. But the water is hot, so be careful. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put ice in this mug of hot water. I want to make sure that his diaphragm area is really what is in that water. Okay. I want to sit him in there for two minutes. So let me grab my phone here. I'm going to set an alarm for two minutes. Give him a bath. So while that is happening, while that is going, this is another eyes figure. Let me explain what's going on. So again, this diaphragm joint right there, if you've ever had a Mythic Legions 2.0 figure or a Cosmic Legions, you know that the torso is two separate pieces. They are connected with what is called a barbell joint. So that is basically a ball on each end with a shaft connecting them. Each one of those balls goes, one goes in the upper part of the torso, one goes in the lower. Now what's supposed to happen is when you try to pose it, the ball is supposed to just spin within that socket. Well, what happened on this particular figure is it's a little tight. So what happens is if the ball doesn't spin within its socket and you try to twist, what you're doing is you're not spinning the ball. You're actually twisting the shaft itself. Think of like a Twizzler, right? You look at how a Twizzler looks, the candy, how it's like all twisted up. It's, you know, um, kind of like inched that's what you would be doing with that shaft so what we're doing here is as we heat this figure in the water it is going to soften up the plastic of the torso but because the shaft itself is a harder plastic it's not going to get as malleable that's what we want we want the torso to be nice and malleable so when we pose it it's a little more flexible um, now, an obvious question is, why was this not caught during the production process? Um, and the simple answer is, it wasn't a problem in the production, the pre-production process. Every one of the prototypes we saw and tested did not have this problem. This is an unfortunate production issue. Um, we are trying to figure out what the problem actually is, whether the tooling needs to be adjusted, whether they just needed to kind of lubricate the, the insertion point a little bit so it, the ball would move a little bit uh, more smoothly. We'll figure that out. So few, oh, there we go. There's our timer. Um, so future releases of this torso will not have this problem. But for this situation right here, this is how you fix this. Now, Let's be honest, this figure that I'm holding right here, this figure has never been in the hot water, okay? I opened it and just put it in my display. Now I can position it, I can move it around. It's not breaking, right? I get a nice crunch there, I get a little bit of movement. It's not like the minute you touch it, it's going to snap. 
it does still have some movement, but if you try to do too much over time, there is a chance you could break it, a chance. The reason we included these instructions is to minimize that chance. So now I'm gonna go back to my mug of hot water and I'm gonna take out Ias, okay, again, he's got some hot water on him, so be careful you don't drip. But now that I have him, now I can move this no problem, look. Okay, now that piece, I'm literally turning it round and round and round, and now it is moving. Do you have to do this every time you pose? Not necessarily. It depends how much you want to pose it. If you want to get a really, really dramatic, yeah, heating it a little bit might make sense. I've seen some people ask, can I use a hair dryer? Hair dryers are nice because they're not as messy, but hair dryers for something like this may not work. I use hair dryers when I'm trying to like, maybe if I've got a stuck arm joint or whatever, because the hair dryer, you can really focus on that one joint. The thing with this is where you're really needing to get is up inside of that diaphragm area. It's going to be really hard with the hair dryer to get up there. You're going to just be hitting the bottom. So Hot water, will a hair dryer work? Possibly. Hot water is more effective. But again, I can twist that. No problem at all. No breakage at all. This is working fine. Now, I could also, if I wanted, I could literally remove these parts, pop that ball joint right out. I could add a little bit of lubricant there. Some people have talked about dremeling it. That gets a little more advanced. If you're not a customizer, dremeling your figure is going to be scary. So I'm not suggesting you do that. But you just saw how easy this was. This took me a couple minutes of time. To put this back together, by the way, literally, you can see there's a little peg there. There's a hole there. Just line them up and put them together, okay? Totally fine. This figure is now all set to go. He is now posable. He is now nice and malleable. And this is a great uh, tutorial for any figure that has a joint that feels like it's a little bit stuck. Giving it a little bit of heat, whether it's hot water, whether it's hot air, is definitely one way to help. With the Isipidian, that little bit of a bath in that hot water is all you need to make him as poseable as you want. Thank you very much for checking this out. Hopefully that answered your questions. Hopefully that alleviated some of your fears about the Isipidian figure. It really is a very small overall issue. And we may be overreacting by putting these warnings in with every single one, but we wanted to make sure that fans didn't break these accidentally if they weren't aware that there might be just a little bit of extra care needed. Thank you very much for your support of the Legion's Lines, and thanks for checking out this video. Until next time, I can't wait to see what you make.